Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, I thought I'd give you a quick update on the sweet potato vines. Uh, the last video that I posted in the whole series over the last few years of growing sweet potatoes from uh, some sweet potatoes that we harvest and save, uh, <clears throat> I talked about how we only had one sweet potato, this one right here, that really started sending up uh, shoots. I did leave another one because it was very firm in this in this uh, pan, and this had nice long vines that were sticking out. That I ended up cutting them all off. Uh, I think the day before yesterday. It, it was either two days ago or three days ago. So this was connected to this one here. So we'll go around the outside here. This is where I cut off. I don't know if this is showing up very well, but you can see the ends of the vines where I cut them off here. And I showed in the last video that this was all well rooted and it had more vines sticking up. So I took those vines and extended them over in here. And as you can see, they're coming to life. New shoots coming up from uh, the vine, well, new roots coming up and the leaves are opening up so they're, they're looking healthy. This one had very, very tiny vines sticking up and some injured spots. But uh, I got these ones laying down in here and I'm pretty happy with how they're looking so far. So they're, they're extending out. I'm gonna let them get a little bit, give them probably three more days and then I'll lay these ones down in here as well. So each one of these places where the leaves are coming out Potentially, on the opposite side, roots will start shooting down. So, we'll see how this all works. Uh, I'm pretty happy so far, and then I can do this another time. Uh, and we'll have plenty of time uh, for the late spring planting of the sweet potatoes. Because we, we have to do it definitely a couple of weeks after our last frost, because these are so sensitive. And they need to be pretty... Um, pretty well developed because the deer will jump our fence to get at these and they'll just munch them right down. So this is what they look like so far. I'm pretty happy. Uh, again, this is the the, the, uh, the group of sweet potatoes that was over here and this is the one that was here. This was the original one. We extended that into this one. I cut off the connection between this one and this one and then I took the vines as they were extending out, put them into this one. And I took the vines that were extending out and put it into this one. So we'll see how this goes. We'll give it a week or so and see how well things are developing. And once I see good roots developing down here, then I'll snip in between the two trays, both, both sides, and uh, continue to, to expand the growth even more. So that's about it with the uh, sweet potatoes so far. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And remember, there is a whole sweet potato playlist that I've created uh, because I got lots of interest when I talked about the new way that I was doing it, growing it in perlite, but we've evolved each year uh, to using fewer sweet potatoes, uh, less disease, and so on. So, so far, things are going well. Take care, folks, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.